increase your activity level tonight, particularly on the offensive end and, and in the early going. Uh, how, how much of that was uh, was in response to game one and, and part of the game plan? Um, no. Um, I just was playing, man. Um, try to do my job, get guys open, and roll hard. And if I'm open, you know, the guys do a great job of being selfish and passing the basketball just to make plays and, <clears throat> and take whatever they give us. And um, the defensive end, just to stay connected, cover for guys, and um, just trying to limit those guys in one basket, one shot. Is this a kind of a sigh of relief moment? How, how big was it not to fall behind two games ago? I mean, we had to win tonight. We would have wanted to win the first game, but we didn't. And uh, we just take each game one, one at a time and, and just play, man. We can't go back and fix it. So we just gotta, we just gotta go. Don't worry about game three. I'm having a really hard time. Put the microphone close to the mouth so we can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think you guys were able to score so much better? I'm here right here. Sorry, I'm short. Uh, why do you think you guys were able to score so much better in the paint tonight? You're at 60 in the paint versus 40 in game one. I think we just uh, made a point to try to get easy baskets. Uh, we got a lot of stops early in the game. We were able to get out and run in transition and get some easy dunks and, and uh, post seals for Blake and uh, Mo and guys like that. And just to be able to do that, and then it opens up for our shooters. DJ. What? <laughs> over, over the two days that you guys practiced to watch film before leading up to this game, what was the view of the team? What was your thought process about this game, too? Um, that yelled at us a lot. Good reason? Yeah. We played like, we didn't play good. <laughs> um, game one. And um, that's why we, you know, that's why we were down the game. And uh, tonight we, the past two days we've gone over a lot of things, um, things that we didn't see as, as players in, in game one and we corrected and try to take advantage of tonight. And uh, I'm pretty sure there'll be more adjustments in game three and we just got to come out and figure it out and adapt and adjust. DJ, when, when Gobert went down, did you feel like that changed your, did, did you feel like that would change your impact potentially offensively? Did you, did you see that as an opportunity for yourself? No, I'm not worried about anybody else. Like, I mean, I hope he's, Great. I hope he comes back this series, you know. But um, we can't worry about one person, and I don't. I don't think my job changes if he's playing or if he's out. Um, I just got to continue to do my job and, uh, and and play the game of basketball, no matter who's out there. All right, guys. Blake's here.